Okay, this is a quick view of the fixed mount I'm making, real quick. This is my solar panel template. I'm going to use these uh, big hinge brackets that I've had laying around forever to mount these 2x4s. Then I'm going to put the uh, super struts going across, and I can mount three panels up real quick and hook it up to that uh, power jack that's running off my battery charger right now, basically doing nothing. Alright, I'll take some pictures throughout the day. I hope to have this done by nighttime. Okay, about 3 o'clock, I got the panel on the super struts, and uh, unfortunately, I gotta go down and see my buddy homie at the depot. I got some more of these uh, spring nuts, because I'm all out, but this one is attached. I'm gonna go get some more of those, and uh, now that the center one's on, I can screw that center, those two super struts, down to my, uh, my frame here, and then just attach the other three. And me and my tractor will drag these out into the yard and hook them puppies up. Alright, that's it. Okay, just another quick update. I've got this top piece uh, mounted in, slides all the way through into that one. And this one comes all the way through here. And there's another one in here. And in the interest of reusing everything, everything you see here except for the solar panels, and those are new old stock, this is repurposing everything. These are even old screws. These are wood that's been laying around. This 4x6 used to hold up the original first tracker in its first position. All of this stuff is pretty much used. And here's something else used. See this grease? This grease has been contaminated with uh, dust and filings. You use a little grease on these screws. It saves the battery. And you know, no matter what kind of screwing you're doing, but a little grease goes a long way. You probably already know that. Well, that's another little tip on how to do the screwing. Alright, enough is enough. Back to work. Okay, 7 o'clock. I had about a little uh, two and a half hour heat meltdown. I'm going to show you a little trick. You probably know this, or maybe you don't. See these little guys? These are a real pain to get the bolts in. Load them on the bolt before you put them in here. That's the tip of the night. Okay, that's it. Alright, here's something not everybody shows you. Peek at the underneath. Huh? Leave it to me, goofy guy. There you have it. This whole thing, minus the fiesta, due to the heat, was uh, probably about four and a half hours. Not counting the whole deep Home Depot trip. So total expenditure to mount these up out of the uh, garage and up here ready to go outside was $8.97. Because everything else I already had. Okay. I got to uh, change these connectors because they're uh, Tyco. And you really don't see Tyco too much anymore. So. Luckily, I just bought a big bag of them. I'm just going to cut these off and put the MC4s. It's a shame because they got a nice gold plate on them, too. Oh well, such is life. So that's my temporary hookup. And that's it. Hopefully, tomorrow I'll have a video of this thing plugged in, making some power. Alright, that's it. Bye bye.